Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Mass Effect 2 Blind. Episode 9. I decided to do one more tonight at least. In this one, um, actually before we go anywhere, let's talk to the crew. Because, I don't know, something might have come up. Hi. Commander, can I help you with something? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Yeah. Anything else, Commander? Okay. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Oh, yeah. Anything else, Commander? I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Really? Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. <laughs> the like whole that. thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Let's talk about you. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I need a my read. ship, my time. I just want to talk. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept oh. under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? Yeah. The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't mind their methods? You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? Yeah. Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Oh, yeah. Miranda and I stopped it. Why wasn't that reported? Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Yeah, they lost a good I man. can already see they lost a fine soldier, Jacob. That's not how the Alliance sees it. Hell, they did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead. Or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Hmm. Guess you didn't focus test right. You were actually the Alliance poster boy and they still dumped you. I can't tell people everything. I don't like it, but I can see benefit in keeping some things from the public. Maybe. And Cerberus isn't exactly transparent either. Where's an honest soldier go, Shepard? Right here? I guess so. Glad I'm not in your chair, though. Gonna be a rough ride. That it is. I should get back to work. Good talking to you, Shepard. You too. I like you. I'll kill you last. No, I'm actually getting to like a lot of these, uh, or coming to like a lot of these characters. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier, time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Mm. Work on genophage was more than just study. I, I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. What that happen? Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. 
Perhaps. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. <laughs> Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Well, that's a major threat. The Krogan, uh, they're dangerous. The Krogan are dangerous enough already. With an unchecked birth rate, they could endanger the whole galaxy. Exactly. Salarian government agreed. Authorized STG to take steps. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. How did you distribute the modified genophage? I like genophage? how he's too fast for articles. Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians onto Chanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Hmm. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Hmm. This was a... You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger. Averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. Why not go all the if the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers. Worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy. Allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. Yeah, you did the right thing. You were protecting galactic stability. I'm glad to see you were willing to do what was necessary. Indeed. Collectors doing horrific things may face hard choices. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. <coughs> Next time, <coughs> tissue synthesis has to come out. Good for free time. Sorry, I uh, listened to when I uh, coughed into the microphone earlier. I'll try my best to uh, avoid that from now on. We need platinum, element zero, and other stuff. Okay, so that's two of them. Yeah, two down, two to go. Oh, we definitely need to talk to Garrus. Where's he? He's in the weapons room, right? So, wait, where would that put him? He'd be up in the... Is he gonna be up in the cockpit? Oh, the elevator will tell me. I'll just go where I know where Miranda is. And the elevator will tell me if he's on this floor or not. <laughs> Excuse me. And he's not! Ha ha ha. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. Huh. He's taking it pretty hard. Hmm, you might want to check that out. Wait, no, we know who it is. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the Citadel next, once I've, uh... ...chatted up everyone. Hey, Garris. Shepard. Need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Yeah. Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. I wonder if that's who fired on us in the, uh... Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? Yeah. I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. So. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. <laughs> Glad you like it. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Wait, what? What did your Merc Squad do? 
It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. I must have hated you. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. So you were a thug. It sounds like you were just another gang. Kind of. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Mm. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? Yeah, really. I trained to become a specter after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Hmm. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. Yeah. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military officers. Hell, that's not a squad. That's agents. almost a company. The usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. That's it, yeah. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Give me the rundown. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Found him? Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. You got my support. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. You know it, buddy. I didn't use you much in the first one because we were pretty similar, you know, tech and guns. But now you use assault rifles and I don't. And we could really use someone who uses assault rifles. And since we're always firing from distant, from range, it's kind of uh, silly for us. Oh, where am I going? Not the med lab. Not to the chef. But to talk to Miranda. Hi. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Wanna talk to someone? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. That happens As Cerberus operations around. go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. This is my operation. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Really? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. Okay. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. <laughs> That's kind of you funny. seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? 
My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. They uh, appreciate. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities. Of course, Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity, genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You're better than that. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. That's not what defines you. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You're welcome. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. The Shadow Broker. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your Wait. father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in You the are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make That's a blah, 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 we've already... The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. Yeah, I'll compliment I'm great her because again. Of your spirit and personality. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks Shut for up. saying You've it. told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Oh, see ya. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. <coughs> Anytime, Commander. What am I doing on that? Oh, I... <laughs> I think I'm gonna save up to improve my oper yeah, operative. Because it's cool. And look, my renegade, I'm almost halfway to the next point. Awesome. Alright, so back to the bridge and then to the citadel. I wonder if I have to hit that fuel station first. No messages for you, Commander. Good. Um, hit the fuel depot. Ah, that's where you buy probes. I was wondering about that in the last time I played. I don't think I want to do the Omega 4 relay just now. Yes, to the Citadel. We do! Did not build the citadel, we know that the Reapers did. Or the Protheans were one of many to use the citadel. Until the Reapers made him dead. Ah, it's good to be back. I'm sure, ca ca I mean, Counselor uh, Anderson will be thrilled to see me. Thank you. 
I confirm. Yeah, I know, I got two points, but I'm saving them. You got none. You got eight! I'd like you to have overload. Overload is good. Beautiful. You know what? Fuck it. Pocketing. Pocketing skills is silly. Let's boost my incinerate. No, that's silly. I want to boost my operative. I'm going to boost my operative. Kilo Ferris slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger hey, on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Yeah, asshole. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> that was fun. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed. I thought but you it's just it. like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Can I help you, sir? Security seems heavy. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. Durr. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. She's got a Next. serious derp face. I wonder if she'll hit herself in the head with a hammer next. Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. Mm. The Asari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Yeah! Because we kick ass, because we're humans. Yeah! Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. This is annoying. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. Good. 
You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. No, you can't. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Leave Don't it. change it. Anonymity is useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. How do I get there? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Oh, okay. But screw the Council. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This mm -hmm. isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. Of course. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. That's what they do. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Two years later, jeez. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Wait. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Goody. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Nice. Go, humans. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I will. Hi, Avina. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? Sure. Let me hear the travel advisory. Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. Group travel is strongly recommended. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, talk to any nearby CSEC officer, or contact the Embassy through the station network. That makes it sound like there are anti-human race riots going on. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Jeez. Many non-human residents disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the Council and wish a return to the status quo. I'm bad. That explains the tension on the station. Is the Alliance doing anything to calm the population? Any further information has been deemed inflammatory by the Office of Information Management. Be advised that your inquiry has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, 
Additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. <laughs> How charmingly fascist. Sounds like a police state to me. The result is improved safety for all residents. Be advised that your statement has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If you are approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. What about the Reaper? Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. I'm out. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Citadel News Den. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. Would you just human stop following us? believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Akinlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. That's nice of them. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Protheans' wrath. After human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Oh. My bad. Oh, did I say that? I meant I'm proud Good day, of what my friends. I did. Welcome to the Citadel. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... <laughs> hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station <laughs> play discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. <laughs> yes! Space hamster! Fishy! And a couple more models to put on the wall. Excellent. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? I have a fish. How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. I finally have a fish. Anything going on else going on? Apex home. Oh, that's just an ad. I have a fishy. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former council races. See what type of discount I can get from you. Human. <laughs> Give me a discount. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. Oh! What are you saying? I'm saying that you're going to help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. You Plus just you're got doing business burned. With Go to hell. Uh, and everything. Wow, and that's discount. Oh, oh. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes, 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 yes. What's that? Gas yeah, cheap. Um, yeah, I use heavy pistols more than anything else. I'll take it. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. 
have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. I guess I don't get... Well, I suppose I shouldn't play games. Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? What? Anata's mortuary offers the finest quality burial robes, hand-spun by skilled You've recently Asari been artisans. dead. Anata's will help you leave a good-looking corpse. Death. I mean, I know I just came back from the dead and all, and that's cool, but... The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Who are you? Kalisa bin Seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. Oh, yeah. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? I'm supposed to know you. Sorry. Don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrifice. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. Bitch! I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Good. Check it. Did we get it? Nice. I should have shot the camera first. But really, that was awesome. Here's this go. Wait, actually, map! Yeah. I thought Citadel Souvenir. But wait, what did I? Okay, there's Captain Bailey. I came this way. That's where. Oh, there's Citadel Souvenirs. Yeah. Do I want to go to the Dark Star Lounge? I don't think. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go to the Presidium and go meet up with the Council and Anderson. There'll be time to explore later. Right now, I want to see Anderson. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. Yeah, I, I got it. What did you want to see me about? I'll be honest. I was hoping to convince the other counselors to be here for this meeting. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. No. Nobody said this was going to be easy. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. Nah, what's this about? I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? The Alliance abandoned me. What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. Oh, sorry. Is I ice know watering? you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. Is it about Cerberus? The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. 
The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. And all the evidence? Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it. Just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Oh, that Officially, figures. the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow it. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line. And I don't have much to show for it. Guess I should kill this council, too. The original council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded Hell yeah. when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. No, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Oh, great. I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Yeah, bitch. Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. I should fire what him. do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. I miss you, Anderson. How, you How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Yeah. Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. Such. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Dang. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Well, that's good to know. What Stash. happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. God damn it, I'm a Spectre. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. 
I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. I know that. I've done lots of nasty things to them in the past. And there are means to an end, that's all. But guess what, folks? It's that time. This has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Mass Effect 2 Blind. Stay tuned for episode 10 already. When, um, shit, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably explore the Citadel some more, maybe go somewhere else. But judging the fact that I was able to spend an entire episode just exploring the Normandy, I suspect that exploring the Citadel is going to take at least an episode. So, uh, yeah, I hope you'll see me next time.